Hello friends, this video on Kinetic Theory Part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from Part 1 to Part 10 before going ahead with Part 11. The problem says, estimate the fraction of molecular volume to the actual volume occupied by oxygen gas at STP. What is STP? Standard Temperature and Pressure. Take the diameter of oxygen molecule to be 3 angstrom. Now, to start with, first let's see what is STP. STP is Standard Temperature and Pressure. So, Standard Temperature is 273 Kelvin and Standard Pressure is 1 Atmosphere. What else is given? Diameter of the molecule that is 3 angstrom which is 3 into 10 to the power minus 8 centimeters. This is given. So we have to calculate the fraction of molecular volume to the actual volume. Right? So first let's calculate the actual volume. So the actual volume occupied by 1 mole of oxygen gas at standard temperature and pressure is equal to 22.4 liters. This is an experimental fact which has been derived experimentally that at standard temperature and pressure the volume occupied by one mole of any gas is equal to 22.4 liters. So this is 22400 centimeter cube. So actual volume is this much. So what is the and what is the molecular volume? Let us calculate that. So, molecular volume of oxygen gas would be, when I talk of molecular volume, it has definitely to do with the volume of one molecule multiplied by the number of molecules we have in oxygen. So, what is the volume of one molecule? That is volume of a sphere, that is 4 by 3 pi r cube into how many molecules do we have? Let us suppose that is Na, that this many molecules we will have in one mole, right? So Na, that is Avogadro's number, is the number of molecules present in one mole, right? So from this, we can say 4 by 3 into pi into r cube. What is r? r is radius. So if diameter is 3 into 10 to the power minus 8, then radius would be 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 8 centimeter. Okay? So we will put that value that is 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 8 whole cube into Na that is 6.02 into 10 to the power 23. So this comes out to be 8.51 centimeter cube. So this is the molecular volume and what was the actual volume? Actual volume was this much. Now the question asks to calculate the fraction of molecular volume to actual volume. Therefore, the ratio of molecular volume to actual volume would be 8.51 divided by 22400. This comes out to be 3.8 into 10 to the power minus 4. So this is the fraction of molecular volume to actual volume. I hope this is clear to you now. So I hope you understand what is the difference between actual volume and molecular volume. Molecular volume means what is the volume that will be occupied by all the molecules of oxygen gas. And when I talk of actual volume, it says what volume does one mole of oxygen gas occupy at standard temperature and pressure. So actual volume is something which happens in reality and molecular volume is something which we predict by calculation. Right? So now let us go ahead and look at problem 2. Problem 2 states a vessel contains two non-reactive gases neon and oxygen. The ratio of their partial pressures is 3 is to 2. Estimate the ratio of number of molecules and mass density of neon and oxygen in the vessel. Atomic mass of neon is equal to 
two atomic mass unit and molecular mass of oxygen is 32 atomic mass unit. Now to start with the first point to be noted here is the vessel contains two non-reactive gases. Non-reactive gases that is ideal gases. So two mixture of two ideal gases in a vessel so it should satisfy Dalton's law of partial pressure. So Dalton's law of partial pressure states that the total pressure would be equal to the partial pressure of 1 plus partial pressure of 2. Let us suppose this 1 is nothing but neon. This 1 is for neon and 2 is for oxygen. So this would be partial pressure of neon plus partial pressure of oxygen. Now in the question it is given that P1 by P2 is equal to 3 by 2. So this is given in the problem. Also V and T that is volume and temperature are same for both gases because they both are in the same vessel. So the volume and the temperature would be the same. Right? So we can say that P1 by P2 is equal to what we can say P is equal to? We know that from ideal gas equation we know PV is equal to mu RT. Right? So from this equation we can say that P1 will be equal to mu 1 RT by V. P2 will be equal to mu 2 RT by V. So this and this will cancel. So we will get P1 by P2 is equal to mu1 by mu2. What is mu1 and mu2? Mu1 is number of moles for neon. Mu2 is number of moles for oxygen. Remember 1 is for neon. The subscript 1 is for neon. And the subscript 2 is for oxygen. This is the convention that we are following in this problem. Now let us solve the first part. The first part asks for the ratio of number of molecules. Now from the definition of number of moles mu, we know that mu is equal to number of molecules divided by Avogadro's number. Now using this we can say that P1 by P2 will be equal to mu1 that is mu1 can be written as N1 by Na, mu2 can be written as N2 by Na. So again Na, Na will be cancelled. So this will be equal to N1 by N2 that is number of molecules of neon by number of molecules of oxygen will be e is equal to P1 by P2 and P1 by P2 is 3 by 2 that is given. That means ratio of the number of molecules is equal to the ratio of the partial pressures that is 3 is to 2. So the first part is solved. Now let us look at the second part. The second part asks us to estimate the mass density of neon and oxygen. That means this part asks us to calculate rho 1 by rho 2. So this is what we have to calculate. Now we also know from another definition of mu that is number of moles. Mu is equal to m divided by m0 where m is the mass of the sample, m0 is the molar mass. Now using this we can say P1 by P2 is equal to mu1, mu1 can be written as, now this m is mass in the sample and m0 is molar mass. Now here let us represent this m with small m and this m with capital M, otherwise there will be too many subscripts, so that can be confusing. So n, so mu1 can be written as small m1 by capital M1. And mu2 can be written as again small m2 by capital M2. So this would be somewhat like this. So this basically is equal to capital M2 by M1 into small m1 by small m2. Now what is this m2 by m1? This is nothing but the molar masses. Now here if you see the molar masses are given. Molar masses are always in terms of atomic mass unit. Right? So the molar masses are given. What is capital M2? M2 is for oxygen. So this is 
32 divided by 20.2. So this into m1 by m2. So from this we can see that m1 by m2 will be equal to we know this ratio and we know P1 by P2. So we can calculate and we find that M1 by M2 is equal to 0 0.947. So this is the ratio of the masses. Now we have to calculate the ratio of densities. We know that density is equal to mass per unit volume and here volume is constant. Therefore, ratio of masses will be the ratio of densities. So this will be equal to rho 1 by rho 2. So the ratio of masses is the ratio of densities. Right? So I hope this is clear to you again. All you need to remember is you should be able to relate one quantity to another. I mean you should know how is number of moles related to number of molecules. How is number of moles related to masses. Now let us go ahead and look at get another problem. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.